One of my main concepts is that through touch, through listening, through watching, that you can have a connection to the place that that material comes from. There's poetic indicators of where the work is trying to take you. I am an interdisciplinary artist and member of the Teltan First Nation. When I was 18, I went back to Canada after about a year of traveling and enrolled in Gitimek School for Northwest Coast First Nations Art in Hazleton, BC. I studied there for two years under Master Carver Vernon Stevens. I wanted to go to Emily Carr. It was the only school that I applied to, and I went into sculpture to really determine my direction. I was mentored by Brenda Crabtree. She was very influenced on my practice. In Emily Carr, I took the opportunity to explore in different materials, ceramics, printmaking, doing some further exploration in paint, it really opened up that door for what materials speak. My work has always been performative. Uh, one of the pieces, fabrication, was a bit of a replication of a regalia piece made from dentelium shells. And I was really thinking about questioning value in the work because I was fabricating a kind of ancient currency. On a model or on a form, it was very void of, of the kind of meaning that I wanted to give to the work. And so it needed to be on my body. What I'm doing differently in my practice from Emily Carr, it's specialization. And I also built conceptual foundation. And that foundation is what I drew upon when I went to grad school. And now a lot of my practice, I call it conceptual because it's, it doesn't matter what material that I use, as long as it's talking about these really important issues that I want to speak about. And right now it's to do with mining, with decolonial design, and then I also work in a, like a real material connection to industrialized land and body. When I was at grad school, I started to make the uh, Riot Rock rattles. They are meant to be machine, a way that they were activated by the people who were playing them and listening to them and you know, feeling the vibrations or a way to hear the land. There was a book that came out about this ethnographer who had visited the Teltan people. It really exposed me to a new kind of Teltan art. And I've been pursuing and revitalizing Teltan art practices and style since 2008. I'm doing a lot of research right now on abstract Teltan shapes. I've used them now for a few projects that I'm calling Teltan Futurism. When I'm beating, I'm working out bigger picture ideas through making and through my hands. And so that's one of my grounding philosophies. Some of the best advice that I got while I was at Emily Carr is to make the project suit you. My advisor, Julie Nagam, is co-curator for the Insurgents Resurgence show at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. The piece that I submitted is called uh, Agenda Push It. Moose High that's connected to a contact mic, so people can touch it, they can resonate the land. I'm trying to talk about this Indigenous perspective and also place the Indigenous body in the conversation. There it is.